Hey y'all, it's Hannah. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be candling the batch of eggs and this is going to be a part of my step-by-step -step hatching guide. In the previous video we talked about choosing eggs to hatch, storing them before putting them in the incubator. We talked about the temperature and humidity, turning the eggs and there were just some tips throughout that video so I will have that video linked in the description box. The eggs have been in the incubator for about a week now. Today is day eight. Um, so we're going to be candling them to see which ones are fertile, which ones are developing, and which ones aren't. And I like to wait at least a week before candling because I want to mess with the eggs in the incubator as little as possible so the temperature and everything isn't fluctuating a whole bunch. And by having them in there for a week, you can better tell the development of the egg versus only waiting a few days. Some of them are still hard to tell if they're fertile or not, so you're gonna have to come back to candle them again anyway. And you can use a flashlight to do this, but I'm gonna be using my Magic Fly egg handler. They have these on Amazon, I think they're like $12. So it's just like a little egg flashlight. And it does come with another like tip in here to change the like width of the lighting um so you can make it wider or more narrow but sometimes i even use the flashlight on my phone like whatever i have handy so in here right now i just have the orpingtons and the silkies and then i'll go back and get the rest of the eggs but in this batch i have five orpingtons five silkies, four cochins, and eight diacles. And I actually had somebody give me these diacle eggs and they were a month old so she just gave them to me to see if they would hatch or not. Like I talked about in my last video, you want to use eggs that aren't really that old because your fertility rate will drop as the sperm ages in the egg. So I'm not sure if any of the diacle eggs will be fertile or not since they are a month old. But she just kindly gave them to me so I could see if any of them were still fertile. I wanted to use this batch with the diacles because I know I'll have some that are not fertile. So I'll have some good examples of eggs that are fertile versus not fertile. That way y'all can see the difference in what we're looking for. And I always like to keep track on my planner and in my notebook and everything of candling the eggs and what I have in my incubators and everything like that. Okay, so I just turned off the lights. So we're going to take the egg handler. And I'll take a silky egg and we'll just put it up to the egg like this. And let me zoom in so y'all can see. This is what you are looking for. You want to see veining. Air sac up top looks, looks good. So this right here, this dark spot right here, and that is its eye. It's developing properly like we want. So that is awesome. Oh, you can see it moving. It's so exciting. There you go. It's moving right there. Oh my goodness. So yeah, this one looks really good. The chick is awake, moving around. I'm going to put it over here. That way I can keep the ones that I know are good and the ones I know aren't good separate. So here we'll do an Orpington. This one is also looking really good. We have veining. I'll have another silky. So right here we have another silky that is developing. So you can see there's veining. This is what we want to see. Looks really good. Here's another silky. You can see the baby right there. This one is developing really nice. And then we'll do Orpington. Okay, and then this Orpington right here, as you can see, this egg is super clear. This egg is not fertile. There's nothing developing inside. It's just clear. You can just see the yolk. So this egg I'm putting aside um, to throw out because it's not fertile. Let's try again. 
this one is not feral either. This is actually going to be my first time hatching from these Orpingtons. These are my modeled Orpingtons. And none of their eggs are fertile. We'll see if my ne next batch. But that one was fertile over there. Okay, this one's fertile. I don't know if y'all can see the veining in this or not. It's kind of difficult to see. The baby is right here where my thumb is. Um, so that one looks good. This is another silky. This one is fertile. Oh, there's the baby right there. Air sac looks good. This is the last silky. <laughs> All of my silkies are developing. So that's really good. And there's the last silky developing. So we had, we only had three Orpingtons that were not fertile out of those 10, which like I said, I th I'm pretty sure those are from my model Orpingtons. So this is gonna be my first time hatching from them. So I'm gonna write down, let's see how many were there, two, two out of five fertile. And then the silkies were all fertile. So these eggs right here are not going to be included into my hatch rate. Since they were not fertile to begin with, they would be in my fertility rate, but not the hatch rate because they didn't have a chance of hatching in the beginning since they were not fertile anyway. So they never like have the chance to hatch, if that makes any sense. So you would say you started with seven eggs, not 10, if you're doing your hatch rate, not the fertility rate. Let me go and put these eggs back, and I will grab the cochins and the deuckles. Okay, so here I have the cochins and the deuckles. I have the eight deuckles, which are a month old, so the fertility rate should definitely be pretty low with those, but we'll see what they look like. And then the cochins, I have four of those in here. So let me turn the lights off, and we will see. So let's do a cochin first. So hopefully y'all can see the veining and everything. So this is a Cochin Bantam, and it is developing. Let's do a Diacle. So this one's not fertile. This is Diacle. It's not fertile. Um, here's another one, and it's not fertile. Um, here's another Cochin, and it is fertile. There we go, you can see the baby right there. It's moving around. Here we go. This one you can see the veining better. Um, in. Okay, so this one, say Diaco. Not fertile. Here's another cochin. There's the baby. This one looks good. Not fertile. And like I said, these are a month old, so I wasn't really expecting them to be fertile. So none of those are fertile. But okay, this other cochin is fertile. Okay, so out of those, um, all of the cochins were fertile. And zero out of the eight Diacles more fertile. Okay, I just got the eggs back in the incubator. I'm using the Nurture Rat 360 incubator by Harris Farms. Um, in my experience, my hatch rate has been amazing with them. My temp is climbing back up since it dropped since I had it opened. So yeah, definitely I'll link this below. It's my favorite incubator that I have used. Oh my gosh, that scared me so bad. I just saw my beauty blender on the counter and I thought it was an egg. I was like, what kind of egg is that? So yeah, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. These eggs I just throw away. In the next video, I'll probably candle on day 14 or candling right before lockdown so y'all can see the difference um, in the eggs. And also, you know, show me getting the eggs ready for lockdown. So make sure you subscribe to see more videos in this series if that's something you're interested in. I thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.